You guys doing okay? Stupid question, huh? Yeah, mom, just a little. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make conversation. I know this is difficult. We did everything right. They let him walk. I don't see how that happened. We waited all this time for this. It's like Ellie meant nothing. Honey, she meant everything. There's nothing we can do. I know we didn't get what we expected out of this, but I just need to know that we're gonna be okay after this. How can we be okay? He killed Allie and now he's out there on the streets. He moves on, what do we do? We have to move on too. There's nothing we can do. We have to return back to our own lives. It's over. That's what the court decided. As bullshit as it is, it is what it is. We can't appeal this, we can't do anything. Oh, well, they just threw it out. The prosecutor walked away from it. It's done. They are not getting away with this shit. I'm telling you that right now, they are not getting away with this shit. We're all upset. There's nothing we can do. Oh shit, there's nothing we can do? What are we gonna do? You tell me what we're gonna do. Something. Something? Yeah. Oh, great, another one of your great ideas. Our plan is to do something. Don't get yourself in trouble, Phil. Things are bad enough as it is. I get it, we're all upset. We need to calm down. There's nothing we can do here, we know that. Hey, the law is there to protect and serve us and punish those who break the law, right? Right. Yeah, so it failed. It failed! We need to get some family justice. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Family justice? You mean go and kill him? It's not an option. We all need to calm down and take a breath, okay? This is not gonna happen. He's full of shit. What was that? You heard me. You're all talk, always have been. This sort of shit makes you feel like a big shot without doing anything. Dad, back off a little. You wanna know why I kept you away from the family? There it is, that's why. Look, I'm just saying that something should be done, all right? Something needs to be done. Keep saying something and keep playing video games in your dad's basement. Okay, um, can we just move on here? Yeah, I'm moving on. I'm out. Uh, are you coming to Dave's? I don't know, I might, you know, I just hope the welcome there is a little bit warmer than it was here with you assholes. He was 
here to support us and you treated him like shit. I'm sorry, okay? I mean, all the shit that happened today, all the shit that's happened this past year, it's overwhelming. We show you a resolve, hon. I just keep it bottled up. I don't know what the hell happened today, but I know it's time for us as a family to face it together and stick together. Phil's part of that. I don't want to push him out. You're right, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. Um, I'm making a I'm making this whole situation a lot much more difficult than it needs to be. No, we should get going to your dad's. Okay. Liz is right. We have each other. We need each other. Family. It's the only way we're gonna get through this. We need to try. We're both right. Ready? So much for a celebration, huh? They just bury their heads in the sand, don't they? Never mind what happened to Allie. Let's give the killer all the benefits we can, no matter what. Hell with a victim. It's a blue state. They only look out for the scum of the world. There's no winning. Yeah, you got that right. <sighs> You know, I'm gonna go and pick up some sheetrock and plaster for the weekend. That'll help me get my mind off of this. What do you need that for? <laughs> my baby boy. He went and smashed holes in the walls. Oh, you'd think he was 15 again. I think your baby boy has been 15 and holding for a lot of years. Have him pick up the stuff. You know, ever since his mother died, he's been off the rails. He's a hell of a great guy, actually, but he's kind of high strung. He's been more than high strung lately when I've seen him. He's been wrapped up tight in his anxiety and pretty aggressive, as a matter of fact. Well, boys will be boys. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have him edgy and tough than like those snowflakes out there. Well, at least Anne's doing well, huh, in business? She sells weed. I know it's legal, but she sells weed. Every once in a blue moon, she'll sell one of her paintings. <laughs> they usually go to somebody who has smoked and gotten high on her weed. Well, she's, she's doing business. She's making money. We can celebrate that, can't we? <laughs> if you say so. Hey, we got this. Let's just go in there and do what we do best. Yes. Yeah. For Allie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it for her. I love you guys. I love you too, Mom. I love you too. <sighs> Starving. Hey. Hey. It's good to see good you. Good to see you too. Mm -hmm. How are you holding up? My brain is on autopilot. Hasn't been right in a long time. Oh, I know. Do you want to talk? Oh, I don't want to burden you with anything. Oh, come on. Come on. Sit down, cuz. Dad, how much food do you have? I'm starving. Well, there's a bunch of it in there. I put together some platters. There's one with mostly meat. There's some with vegetables. There's other platters, there's platters to hold the platters, uh, and other platters in there, you could just check, they're in there. Ever notice how broccoli smells like shit? I can never become a vegetarian. You never did eat your vegetables. Yeah, you can keep them. It's hard to know what to say when something unexpected like this happens. Huh, I'm not very good at saying the right thing. He's right about that. I've been apologizing for my brother my whole life. Things tend to go well when Ray isn't speaking. Been encouraging him just to remain silent. Just sit there and smile, brother. I think that'd be disturbing. Yeah, he is creepy looking when he's quiet. That's not what I meant. You're, you're not creepy looking. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. I'm surprised your dad is letting you talk to me. Everything is chaos right now. None of us know what's up and what's down anymore. I can't imagine today's shit making it any easier for you guys. I really miss her. I do too. 
I used to think of us as the three musketeers. I wanted to be a bad influence on you both. Take you to Vegas, get you drunk, wake up not remembering what the hell we did the night before. <laughs> That's the plan you had for us? I never said I had good judgment. I like your idea. Let's do it. Vegas? Yeah, Vegas. Sure, that would be great. Really? You know I never lie. When should we book it? Mm, this summer. This summer it is. I'll start pricing out packages for us two Hellraisers. <laughs> Thanks for bringing in the booze. I really need this to start feeling like a party. Should have brought some of that high grade weed you sell. Who says I didn't? Did you? No. <laughs> okay, all right. I guess I can live with whiskey and wine. I can't think of a better occasion to get drunk. I'm with you. <laughs> Let's do it. There's something I'd like to say to everyone here. You are welcome in this house at any time. This house is your house. I don't want petty stuff to get in the way of what we have here. We've all been fighting our own pain, no more so than my son, my daughter-in-law, my granddaughter. I'm here for you guys. And I'm here for you as well. Well, what about me? Ray, I should have asked you to leave before I made that announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know where my brother is? He was at the restaurant. He was so furious, he was all over the place, we couldn't calm him down. Well, that's Phil. Always fighting, always getting into trouble. He's sharp as a tack, but he's got that quick temper. He's not stupid. He's just dealing with his anger right now. And rightfully so, he has a reason to be angry. And he's trying to deal with this mourning in his own way. I don't think he's showing up tonight. I was a bit of an ass to him. Everything was just so overwhelming. He just wasn't shutting up. I should have just left the table and gone to the bar. I feel sort of bad he hasn't shown up. It's not you, Larry. It's him. It's always him. <sighs> what the hell was that? I said get the fuck up! If you don't get your ass up right now, I'm gonna put a half a dozen bullets right into your skull. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Move! Sit down. Sit down! I got him! I got him! What? Why'd you do this? Why'd you do it, Phil? What the fuck did you do? Ah, oh, he, he pays tonight. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not just forgetting this whole thing and moving on. Now, I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's just how the chips fell. This right here? Now this is justice. And we're gonna have some of it. Not like this, okay? Not like this. Then how, Beth? Huh? How? We stood back and waited for over a year while we let the system handle it. And what did the system do? It let this animal right back out. We're either gonna handle this with some family justice, right? Or Ali's death didn't mean a goddamn fucking thing. Let's go talk in the kitchen, come on. Okay. Let's go, I'm go. coming too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, everyone, go talk in the kitchen. What are you doing? I need a trick. Breathe. What are we going to do? We are going to breathe. That's what we're going to do. Now breathe. How are you staying so calm? I'm like a duck on the lake. I look so calm, but underneath my legs are frantically kicking. I'm going to talk to my brother, okay? I'm gonna fix this. We have a situation here. We have a situation. 
What the hell are we gonna do? I mean, what else can we do? We have to call the police. The police? Yeah. Did you just say call the police? I mean, what else is there, Ray? My son is not getting locked up because of that guy. No way. We've got to figure out something besides the damn police. Your son did this. I know my son did this, but he wouldn't have done it if things hadn't gone down like this. Ray, we know. We know your son's heart is probably in the right place, but we have to look at the big picture. We could all get in a lot of trouble for this. Yeah. My son is already in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Oh, you know the usual stuff. The point is, he can't get in any more trouble. And this is trouble. And out there, sitting in that damn chair, that is trouble. We're calling the police. Your son made his bed. He can lie in it. <sighs> what would Allie have thought about that? What was that? You heard me. They let him go. They let him go. What do you think he will do to another girl who is stupid enough to go out for a walk on the street at night? We have to stop this. We have to stop him. You're talking about killing him. He's not going anywhere. You and I need to talk. <laughs> I'm not letting this fuck out of my sight. Mm. You and I are talking. He's tied to a chair. He's not going anywhere. Follow me. Mm -mm. Not happening. You listen to me. I have my phone and I will call the police right now. And you can explain all of this to them, or you and I can talk. Watch him. Look what you've done. She ever fucking slap me again. I should beat the shit out of you. I should have done it years ago before you turned into this much of a fuck up. Yeah, I'd like to see you try that. <laughs> the night is still young. Do you realize what position you put this family into here? Nobody is going to escape this without some problem. Hey, that little bitch out there needs to pay. You're not a judge. You're not an executioner. You're just a shithead who doesn't know when to say when. So, I want to hear your big plan. What big plan? You kidnapped the guy. With your record, that's an easy 25 years. And on top of it, it looks like you want to add murder. Let me guess. Guess that gun belongs to Dad. Fuck! Man, I can't let him go, Anne. I can't. Shit, I mean, you just fucking said it. If I let him go, he's gonna go to the cops, and then I'm gonna go away for the rest of my life. You brought him here, though. You made him everyone's problem. And now everyone has to deal with it, don't they? Yeah. How are they going to deal with it? Whatever you do, they'll... They'll be saddled with it, too. All right, look. I'll take him out of here, and then, and then whatever I do with him, I do. Just me. You're not listening. Everyone here knows what you did, and they're all connected to him. If you kill him, don't you think the cops are going to be asking questions to everyone in this freaking house? 
eventually, someone's gonna say the truth, and then we all go down with you. Fuck. Tell me what to do with that. You need to talk to everyone and tell them your plan. And then, whatever they decide is what you do. And that includes calling the cops. You need to lie in the bed you made. You got it. Yeah. I got it. Just fucking do this. Where'd everyone go? In the kitchen. Hey, I need everyone out here right now. Right now! <laughs> All right, I know this <laughs> situation isn't a good one. And I know it's all my fault. And I know there's no clear answer as to what we should do. You're such a fuck up, Phil. I want justice. We all want justice. We don't need you or want you to be the fixer here. This isn't justice. This is pure stupidity. Let my son talk. He wants to talk, let him talk. Most of my life, I have fucked up. I concede that. I've always relied on my dad to bail me out, and uh, this is a situation I cannot be bailed out from. If any of y'all go to the cops, I go away forever. That's not happening. Dad, please shut the fuck up and let me talk. As I was saying, if anybody calls the cops, I'm done. I'm well done. But uh, this right here now, this is the opportunity. As messy as this all is, we can finally get some justice for Allie. Get some peace for us. Hell, we might even be able to sleep at night because <laughs> insomnia is a bitch, am I right? Well, I won't be able to sleep at night. I can't kill anyone, including this guy. I remember when Allie was five years old, I built her a dollhouse for her dolls. You should have seen her when she saw it. She lit up. That innocent smile of hers. She was so full of joy, and it was all extinguished. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, let this guy go. Can we kill somebody on an allegation? I mean, I want the killer dead too. I want to sleep through the night, but how do we know that this guy did it? We know enough. They arrested him and they charged him. Yeah, they charged him. But I need more before we make any decision. What are you saying, Larry? trial was thrown out, right? So, we have our own trial. He can defend himself. We can listen to the evidence. He can tell his side. And then we decide and deliver a verdict. OK, and what happens after that? Well, if he's found not guilty, we let him go. But if he's found guilty, we have to make sure they never find his body. Oh my god, Dad. No, Dad. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it either, but justice has to happen. Look, I don't want to go back to work and say, oh, well, it didn't work out. We all want answers. We get them tonight. We should go right to the execution. Screw this damn trial. We don't need to have all that evidence. Family justice is in order. Would you just shut up, Ray? Shut the fuck up for one second. <sighs> OK. So, we do this trial, okay? And if he's not guilty to our standards, then we let him go. And we take the consequences. That includes you and your son. You snowflake bitch! You watch your tongue. Uncle or not, I'll knock your dick in the dirt. You gonna let him talk to me like that? I think he said what he had to say. Just be quiet, Ray. So, look, you have a choice. One, we all walk away, and Phil takes you away, and you disappear. Your other choice is to stand trial. If you convince us you're not guilty, we'll let you walk free. Uh. 
What do you want to do? Trial. I'll do the trial. It doesn't look good for you, Dennis. They found blood in your car. That's impossible. Look, I want to help you, but I need to know if there's going to be anything that might blindside me. No, no, they planted that. There, there was no blood in there. They're wrecking this. OK, OK. I want to have an expert look at the evidence, but I want you to think about this. If you're innocent, we fight and we fight hard. If you're guilty and the evidence starts to pile up, then we might have to wheel and deal. I'm not making any deals. You know the consequences. If you're guilty, you could be the chair or life in prison. You understand that? I do. But you have to understand, I'm not guilty. You have to help me. You have to prove my innocence. My name is Larry Murphy. I'll be one of the many prosecutors of this case. Raymond Murphy will be acting as the judge. Everyone in this room will be the jury. Now, on October 3rd, 2018, our daughter was seen leaving the gym on Bell Street, walking north. A white Chevy Cavalier with a man matching the description of the defendant, Dennis Evans, was seen dragging her into the vehicle. Mr. Evans was positively ID'd by the witness. Blood evidence was found in the vehicle that matched that of my daughter. Tonight, I'm going to prove that Dennis Evans is a killer and murdered Ali Murphy. Thank you. You have the right to make a statement. I don't see how any of this will matter. No matter what the facts, you're going to kill me tonight, right? So no statement, then. OK, fine, fine. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm an innocent man. I've been on the radar of the police since I was 18. I can't walk down the street without being stopped and harassed. When the night of the murder happened, I wasn't in town. I've been framed. That is why they threw out the case and let me go. Detective Barnes should be in this seat, not me. She's the one that's been fucking with my life and let the person who committed the murder go. This is so important for you all to get closure this way. Just kill anyone. Pretend the danger is now gone and you've got your family revenge. You weren't picked up randomly. You were picked up because the law failed. That's right. You got out on a technicality, not because you're innocent, you scum. Relax, Phil. Tell me about the night you killed our daughter. I object to the question. Objection overruled. Answer the question. On the night of October 3rd, I was working until 8 o'clock. Where were you working? Mike Subs on Broadway in Munson. Continue. I left work and at a Halloween party. I was there until 2 AM. I then went home. What were you driving? You know what I was driving. I want to hear it. 2000 Chevy Cavalier, white, just like the one they saw at the scene. That's what you want to hear. I want to hear the truth. That's what I want to hear. Why? You already have the truth in your mind. What can I say to convince you otherwise? was the 3rd of October. Who has Halloween parties on the 3rd of October? It was still October. Yeah, October 3rd. Your case is falling apart. No one has Halloween parties that early in the month. Actually, they do. Actually, 10 people verified I was there. I was at the party. My alibi was solid. 
But when you have a detective that wants to force the pieces of the puzzle to fit, you're fucked. She fed you a line about me. Got patted on the back for solving it, but the truth is the truth. But you're a born liar. We know your criminal history. You've been in and out of trouble since you were a kid. Stealing cars and shoplifting is a lot different than murder. You stepped it up. Do you ever say anything remotely intelligent? Stealing cars and shoplifting. You left one item off your record, didn't you? What? Domestic violence. You beat the shit out of a woman. There's a police report. Not everything you read is the full truth. Well, then, please, will you tell us the full truth? You want the full truth, Dave? I want you to answer the question. What was wrong with that police report? At 18, I met a woman named Stacy. We both had drug problems. And when we moved in together, we brought out the worst in each other. I mean, we brought out the worst. The more we shot up, the more depressed we got. And we just kept losing. Turn off the water, turn off the lights. And we were both just defeated. And one day she comes to me and says she's leaving me. She turned around to go and I grabbed her arm. She began punching me. I didn't do the right thing. I hit her back. That wasn't me. That was the drugs. That was the depression. And if you read the report, you'll see I turned myself in. She never would have gone to the cops. I did because I should have controlled myself. I shouldn't have hit her. I have to live with that regret every day. What about the regret for killing my granddaughter? You can't regret what you didn't do. <sighs> Fuck this shit. I want to hear this. So, a man who beats a woman, turning into a man who kills a woman, it's a relatively easy transition to believe now, isn't it? If you want to believe it. Man, I don't want to. I just know that it is. Well, how do you know? Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here, all right? Not you. Not you. Now, that wasn't the first time you beat Stacy, was it? It was. Uh, nah, you beat her every single night, and then you beat her some more. If it makes you feel better, I beat her. I beat her mother. I beat her father. I kicked her dog. There, does that make you feel better? You stop this shit right now! And it's trust fucking stupid. We're wasting time. This trial is something we agreed upon, and that's what we're doing. Keep in mind that none of this would have happened if he didn't fuck up. Let it go, Larry. Oh, yeah? Let it go? <laughs> With the father you are, Ray. With the father you are. Okay. Now's not the time, honey, all right? Oh, really? Oh, really? Because I can't think of a better fucking time to lay it all out. Hell, we all might be in an eight by 10 cell by the time this night is over, and I don't want to do that without telling my dear old Uncle Ray what I really think. Well, go ahead if you got the guts. Is that a threat? If I got the guts? Okay, okay, wait. So if I say what I'm gonna say, you're gonna hobble your old ass over here and beat me up? Dad, please stop. Oh, hold on, hold on, okay. So at the risk of saying what I want to say and being beaten down by this lady right here, I'm gonna say the truth. That's what we're all here for, right? So here's the truth. Ray, you created a monster right there. You cover for him every time. You let him get away with everything without doing nothing. You defend him. You want to know where that got him? 
Phil, why don't you remind your dad where that got you? Fuck you. Oh, okay, loss of words? All right, it got him locked up over and over again. It prevented him from holding down a job for more than two months. Worst of all, it brought us all here. Now we're in this situation where nobody can really control the outcome of. You know, this trial idea, I'm starting to think, it's the dumbest idea in the world. We should have just called the cops immediately. And we still could, and, and we should. I'm with you, this is not us. The trial needs to continue. Why? We need to know, right? We need answers. If we let him go right now, we're going to regret it. We have a chance to get answers, some closure. Should we take advantage of that? I agree. I want to know if he killed Allie. If? Yeah, if. I want to hear more. He's probably guilty, but I want to know for sure. Probably? Probably? Are you fucking kidding me? God, you're such an idiot, Liz. You're letting him manipulate you. Just shut up, Phil. I know you talked about your alibi, and you said that you were out of town that night. But I want to talk to you about one piece of key evidence. OK. The blood in your car. The smoking gun. That's what they needed. But the problem here is, and you can believe me or don't believe me, but they seized my car. It was in police custody. They towed it away. I never saw it again. I wasn't worried. I knew they wouldn't find anything. I was actually happy they did it because I figured it would move this shit along faster. They found blood, Dennis. It matched. It was her blood. It was definitely her blood. I'm not denying that. I'm just contesting how it got there in the first place. Are you saying that the police planted it? Think about it. Hey, two weeks? They got nobody? All they had was you guys on TV and the public demanding justice. And that's, that's a pretty strong motivation to close the case. The police needed it solved. They needed a killer, and since they couldn't find one, they manufactured one. They had, they had the body, they had the blood, and they had my car. You have an answer for everything, don't you? It's gotten you through your life. You lie and you lie, and then when it catches up to you, you lie some more, get on top of it. It's impressive, but it's not very convincing. So let's say we throw out the blood evidence. Let's throw out the eyewitness testimony. We'll throw it all out. There's still one problem staring at you right in your face, your confession. Some confession. You're in quite a bit of trouble. Always knew it would happen. Always knew it. You've been headed down this path a long time. I didn't do anything. Oh, really? We found blood in your car. Ellie Murphy's blood. Where's the murder weapon? You planted that blood. <laughs> we planted that blood, John. <laughs> yes, of course. So, tell me about Ellie Murphy. Why was she chosen tonight? I don't know any Ellie Murphy. Cut the bullshit. Tell me what's your connection to her. Was it just random? As I told you, I do not know her. 
We're getting off track here. We have an eyewitness who saw your car. She saw you abduct Dally Murphy. We have blood in your car. We, we just need to wrap this up. You need to tell us why you did this. It'll make you feel better to get it off your chest. I didn't do anything. Polly, well, he won't confess. Can you convince him that honesty is good for the soul? my pleasure. They held me in that room for 20 hours with no food, no water, and no bathroom break. And they beat me until I couldn't take it anymore. I would have confessed anything to get it all to stop. And I did. That's why I confessed. Sit. Please. Try to relax. What is it? I'm not comfortable with this anymore. I'm not. I'm not convinced he did it. We can't kill a guy when we don't know he did it. I'm having some of the same feelings, but... What about my brother? What about us? We committed a crime, too. Isn't this like taking a hostage or something? Jesus, this has to be like a felony or a bunch of felonies. Typically, people that murder other people are good at lying. They have to be. So they can lure their victims into vulnerable positions. How do we know he's not doing that? Just lying. We don't know. And we can't kill a guy when we don't know. We can't let your brother kill him either. If your brother kills him, it's going to be just like we did it. The blood will be on our hands too. What good is justice if it destroys your soul? Okay, let's think about this. What's going on here? What's the problem? Dad, we have to stop this. This isn't going anywhere. What the hell were we thinking? He's out there. The man who killed Allie is out there. He's worthless. He's a predator. If we don't kill him now, he's going to kill somebody else. Theatrix. That's all it is, theatrix. He dies tonight. I'm not going to allow it. I'm not. Oh, you're not going to allow it. And who the hell do you think you are? You are not going to be playing with my son's life. That's what this is about, isn't it? Not Allie, not Justice. You just want to save your idiot son. Well, I'm walking over to my phone and calling the police. This nightmare is ending. You're not going anywhere, you little bitch. Dad, stop this. You're acting crazy. No, the two of you are crazy. You're taking sides with the murderer against the family. You can do what you want. You are not going to call the police. You can stay here. You can go out there for the finale. Whatever you like. What's going on here? They all want out. What? Ray, this day has been filled with so much intense emotion. We crashed in that courtroom. We had a huge letdown, and it has led to this madness. What the hell are we doing? Getting justice. That's what we're here for. We lost her daughter. I'll decide the justice here. You just said that? You who have never made an intelligent decision in your entire damn life? You've taken ownership of all this nonsense. Do you want blood on your hands? 
The feeling of knowing you've taken a life? Or helping your son cover up a murder? I mean, come on. An eye for an eye. Oh. <laughs> an eye for an eye, huh? OK, Mr. Eye for an eye. You talk big. You talk real big, Ray. Well, you want to know something? You're full of shit. Or your son right there? Oh, he could kill. He could do just about anything because he has guts. Not brains, but guts. You're a coward. You're a big mouth coward. OK, Mr. Eye for an Eye. Why don't you go kill him? Go for it. Nothing's stopping you. Hey, you better stop talking to my dad that way. Sit down, little boy. The grown-ups are talking. So are you going to do it or what? I don't have to answer you. I don't have to do anything you say. We are looking to prove him guilty. That's what this game is about. This isn't a game, OK? You're wrong. This is a game, and we ought to get back to doing it. You know what's strange? It's like you're proud of your son. You found some joy in him kidnapping this guy when he can ruin all of our lives in an instant. It's like some kind of sick, twisted accomplishment. There is a time for men to be men which is lost on some of you. I want you to say you're sorry. Say you're sorry to this family. Confess. Give us every detail. Of course you want every detail. You're getting off on this. It's almost like you enjoy killing. Let me ask you this. Where were you on the night of October 3rd? What were you driving? What's your alibi? Confess! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confessing to something I didn't do, and it's going to take a lot more than a guy like you to intimidate me, Ray. Well, Larry was right. You are a coward. You're a big pussy, and if I wasn't tied to this chair, you'd shut the fuck up. Thanks for playing. Sorry about Ray and Phil. I knew they could be problems, but I did not see this coming. Don't be sorry. They are who they are. We're all just kind of spinning our wheels here right now. <sighs> you know Phil, and you know what he's going to do. If he goes down, he's going to take us with him. That's exactly right. He'll lie, and his dad will swear to it. We have to make sure that Ray and Phil don't leave with Dennis. I'm the father here. I'm the one that failed. It's my damn fight. I'm the one that didn't do what I had to do. Hey, what do you mean failed? Don't you dare say that. If you're carrying guilt over Allie's death, you need to let that go. The number one purpose for a father is to protect his family. I keep thinking about that story when she wanted that car and I told her not to buy it. I mean, it was a shit box. But if she had that car that night, she would have driven, right? I mean, that's the truth. Stop, stop. You're not even remotely responsible for her death, OK? That's not what this is about. The person out there is what we need to worry about. Although I don't even feel like in my gut that we have the right guy. You think so? I mean, think about it. The prosecutor threw it out. He had an alibi. I just don't feel like it's the right choice. I don't know. Whether he's the right person or not, we have to decide what kind of people we are. Are we a family that can get through this and live a normal life? Or are we bloodthirsty Avengers that can live with killing somebody? I can't. I want the guy that took our daughter from us. But I don't want it like this. 
I see. Then it's settled. We just have to figure out an approach. Yeah. I have to get the gun from Phil. He's a loose cannon here. I have to take him out of the equation. Okay. Dad, you have to stop this. This isn't your fight. This is wrong. Look at him. Listen, we tried to get the truth. Maybe he told it, maybe he didn't, but whatever the case is, this is over. Your brother, what about your brother? He did this, he did this to himself. I don't want to see him go away, but if this continues, we all go to prison. That includes Liz. She's 25 years old. Are you okay with that? Besides, the police aren't going to discriminate here. They don't see him as a killer. They see him as a citizen who was kidnapped, held hostage, and abused. Okay. Okay. What? My sister was a very special person. She taught me so much about life. She used to recommend books to read and music to listen to. She gave me so much confidence. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I just, I wanted you to know who she was. I thought maybe if you knew who she was, maybe that would help you get it off your chest. I, I, don't know, I don't know how many times I can say this. I didn't kill her. When they found her, there was something missing. A necklace that my parents bought her many years ago. It meant a lot to her. It means a lot to us. You, you don't have to admit anything, but if you have it, it'd be nice to have it back. I have a sister. I love her dearly. I had a mother, and up until she died, I was there holding her hand the whole time. I know what pain is. I know how you must have felt. I consider myself a victim over this, but compared to your sister, compared to Allie, I'm no victim. You know, I wish I was in town that night. I wish I was there, because if I was, I would have stopped the motherfucker that did this. Hey, we need to let him go. He didn't do it. We're letting him go. We're just coming up with a game plan. We can just cut him loose. No, we're concerned about Phil. We need to get the gun from him, and when we do, you and your mom need to go to the bedroom. Yeah, because this is a man's job. It's a dad's job. Now you three, go, now! No way. Listen to your dad. We're only going to complicate things. Let's go. Hey, don't get hurt. I won't. Okay. What the hell is this? What are you doing? Son, it's over. We're letting him go. You stupid old man. You really are fucking stupid. You let these idiots get to you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even surprised, actually. <laughs> it's time for you to hand over the gun. Bullshit. It's over, Phil. 
You know this is not going to end well, no matter what. There's no need to make matters worse. You just don't get it. None of you do. Y you bought into this guy's whole line of bullshit. You're, you're just gonna let him go? Let, it, let him slip right through our fingers? And guess what? He's gonna go kill again. And that's gonna be on all you motherfuckers. A gun, Phil, hand it over. Now fuck you. Stop it, damn it. This is not a debate. It is time for you to hand over that gun and then go sit down. Then what? What do you think? This isn't going to go away. We're going to call the police. What the hell was that? Oh no, God. What did you do, Phil? What did you do? Be quiet, shut the fuck up. Hey, come on, everyone over here. Get over there. All of you, come on. Any more moves, I'm gonna blast every single one of you bitches, I swear to God. I'm not going to prison over this shit. What? You just killed our dad. Where the hell do you think you're going? Shut the fuck up, man. I need to think, God damn it. Just let me fucking think. You need to put the gun down. You need to put that gun down now. Listen, Phil, all this is not you. This is not you. You need help. You have some problems. I can help you. I'll be there with you when you talk to the police. I'll be, I'll help you get a good lawyer. But I need that gun now. He wants my gun. You want my gun? Here's my fucking gun. <laughs> You want me to burn? You think you're better than me? Man, you always look down on my family. It's all in your head, Phil. Why didn't you mention any of the stuff that happened tonight to the police? I figure you people been through enough, yeah? Mm. I hate you for so long. I wanted to watch you die. I wanted you dead. What about now? Now? Did you think they got it all wrong? I just took for granted the cops were right. Everything was on the up and up. I don't believe that anymore. Thank you, Larry. Thank you very much. Now, this is a strange situation. But maybe we can use my situation to put some pressure on those bastards to find the real killer. Oh, I'd love to be a part of that. I'm so sorry for everything you had to go through. Being innocent, but found guilty by the cops, the press, us. I really hate what happened here tonight. Like, I hate it. But I feel like it maybe gave us a little bit more clarity, and that could be a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing for me. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, this has been a good night. You know, I always wanted to contact you guys directly and let you know I wasn't the guy. I had this fantasy that you guys would believe me in and bite me in. Well, 
I guess we start over. I'm going to start putting pressure on the police to start doing the investigation the right way. This is such a strange situation, but I hope we can all move on and put this night behind us. It's already there. You doing OK? No, not really. I'm still just trying to sort everything out. It just, it doesn't seem real. What about you, old timer? Old timer. And that's offensive? Probably. I'm good. Hmm? We've been invested so long into your guilt. I think now we're convinced that you're just the wrong guy, wrong place, wrong time. I hope that's the case. That's what I wanted from the beginning. This is bizarro world, isn't it? It is, but it's right. This is over. I want you to know it's over. You understand? Thank you, David. It's over. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I hope you both know how, how sorry I am about what happened to your family. Just, if you need anything, please, please call me. Thank you. You need to drop you off anywhere? Uh, no, I, I think I need to walk. I'm a little stressed out. <laughs> no shocker there. Maybe I'll walk home too. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good night. Um, good luck with that knucklehead and everything else. <laughs> and Liz, if you're serious about going after the police in Barnes, let me know. I think we can put some serious pressure on them to open a real investigation. That sounds great. All right. Goodbye, then. Until next time. Liz Murphy, how are we doing today? Good, how are you? Eh, not enough hours in the day, feeling a little bit overwhelmed. But when I heard you wanted to see me, I knew I had to make the time. Oh, why is that? We failed you. Well, not necessarily we, they failed you. I still feel terrible about it. We let a killer get away with it. I have a hard time even thinking about it to this day. I don't think he's the killer. Oh, good lord, you're sounding like the idiot guards. What? We had him locked up, Evans. Every day he'd talk, then he'd talk a little more. By the time he was done, he had the guards convinced he was innocent. Maybe he is. <sighs> he's got another one. He told me a lot about you. Oh, really? What do you have to say? Well, the case was thrown out because he had alibis. The blood was planted. He wasn't even in town that night. You had it out for him forever because of his past. <laughs> his past. I'm sorry you've been so misled. But Evans it is a liar, a manipulator. He had no alibi. The party? The Halloween party. He had 10 witnesses. That's what he told me to. And you investigated? Yes, and he exaggerated the amount of alibi witnesses he had. It wasn't 10. Okay. It was zero because the party never happened. The planted blood, no. Despite the pressure we were under, we never planted anything. The blood was there. The case was thrown out. It was. Explain that. I'll explain it. We had all our ducks in a row because the stupid behavior of a couple of our cops hit threw everything into question. The prosecutor was right. Evans deserved a fair trial. He was guilty. But that didn't matter. Because the rules weren't followed, we couldn't win. He walked. It sucked. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. But it is what it is. He saved my dad's life. He stopped my cousin from killing him. No murderer would do that. A murderer is typically a narcissist. They desperately want to be a hero so they can go home and think about how they saved the day. But that's not who he is. He's a killer. How sure are you that he's a murderer? Completely, without a doubt, sure. I've been doing this for a very long time. I've met a lot of nasty people. But Dennis Evans is the only one that scared me. He had the power to flip anyone. He could seem like that, the purest angel. But he was the devil at heart. Let the school is 
is out, I really need a change. See what summer is all about. You know, the three of us should just go to Hawaii. Enjoy. I feel like we've all been on autopilot lately. You know, we could use a little bit of ocean air, tropical living, be good therapy. Yeah. What do you think, honey? Yeah, sounds good. You have something on your mind. What's going on up there? Everything. I'm probably overthinking it all. Hawaii sounds good. I am for that. I need to get away. Great, I'll see what I can book. I spoke to Detective Barnes. What? Why? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm so confused. I don't know what to think. How about you don't think? Don't drive yourself crazy. I mean, Allie would want us to move on with our lives and not dwell on all the what ifs. It's madness. We need to try to move on and heal as a family. Yeah, let your mother and I deal with the police and investigators, okay? Okay. Okay, then. Hey, you want to come over tonight, watch some movies, hang out? I promised Grandpa I would play Uno with him tonight. Ooh, sounds exciting. I like Uno. Well, have fun, honey. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Hello? Grandpa? Liz, what are you doing in my room? What is this? What the hell is this? That was your grandmother's. What? No, it was Allie's, and it's got blood on it. How did it get here? Sit down. No. Please, honey. Please, Liz. Hear, hear me out, dear. Please. Your sister was very special. She was very special. I. I've always looked out for her, as I've looked out for you. What happened to her? I loved her so much. I loved her so much. I was going to build a life with her. And then she told me she wanted me out of her life. She was going to tell people this, humiliate me. She forced me to. Silence her. She was your granddaughter. Yes, I loved her. And I love you, Lizzie. <laughs> you're sick. You're a sick no. bastard. I'm leaving. No, you're not. No, you're not leaving. <laughs> you're just like your sister. A couple of cock teasers, huh? I can't trust you. You'll go out there and tell everyone my secrets. I just want to leave. <laughs> Leave! Leave! Who do you think you are to judge me? Who do you think you are?
back here, you. Get back here, you get get out of me. Ah. Get ah. back here, you get out of me. Get back. Ah. You know you're gonna die tonight, don't you? Get back here! Get back here! Get back here. Why me? I don't know how to tell my parents. How do you tell your father that the man he idolized was a predator and a murderer? I don't know. I just... I don't know. Well, I guess I have to. I have to tell my parents that he was a murderer and killed their daughter, my sister. It won't be easy, but you'll get through it. And you have the closure you wanted, yeah? You have that now. You can move on. You know, there's one strange thing about this. Oh, yeah? Allie was tough. How the hell did she not fight him off? I know he's big, but he's an old man. I can't believe he overpowered her. Maybe he snuck up on her. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he hired somebody to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 